Walter Martins passes away while broadcasting as a well-experienced reporter, working in Channel 8 as a small local station. This horrifies all the people present in the studio with his wife, Adriana, especially not taking it very well. The matter becomes even more bizarre when it turns out that he started picking up strange habits after watching a mysterious tape which was delivered to him by an unknown person. Could it be that this tape has supernatural abilities? That is for Juliana, a reporter who worked closely with Walter, to find out. Hi folks, I'm R, your narrator, and welcome to Teleforum. If you have any video or game suggestions, make sure to send them to me on my Twitter or subreddit. Keep in mind that this video will have spoilers. And with that said, let's begin. Juliana, a reporter accompanied by a recent hired cameraman, Selva, both from Channel 8, a local station, arrive at the building of a recently widowed woman whom they are interested to interview in regards to her husband's strange and grim passing. Their husband, Walter Martins, happened to be an employee in the news channel who ended it while broadcasting, shocking everyone in the recording studio. This interview seems to be more about finding a mysterious VHS tape that Walter intended to broadcast, never being aired and no one knowing what it's all about, rather than actually making a program about Walter himself. It appears to be a trick Juliana is using to gain access to the house in order to find and retrieve this VHS tape or in general find out why Walter would do such a thing. The story happening in 80s or 90s, knocking several times on the door, Adriana Martins finally opens the door, understandably being in a bad mood as her husband just passed away one day ago. Juliana lies that they are here to make a special program about Walter, an homage to pay respect to him while working in the station who manages to gain access to the house. Managing to infiltrate the house, Adriana goes to make some coffee for Juliana and Selva, the cameraman. When they take the chance to snoop around and find anything of interest. Finding some interesting things in the house, Juliana decides to talk to Adriana about them. Walter and Adriana have a dog called Gunpowder, whom he was very proud of having a picture of in his wallet whom he showed to everyone in the studio. During the cursed day of broadcasting when he passed away, there was a severe lightning strike which led to their TV even malfunctioning, as if being a supernatural disaster, but more on this later in the video. At the same time, Adriana explains that Walter had picked the habit of reading an electronics manual which she didn't know what for, which led to him messing with the VCR, all while stopping to read the newspaper that he had a habit of doing all the time. Talking about how Walter died, Juliana explains that she was in the room while it happened, using a gun to do it, while Adriana is confused as she explains that's not how he died. Even the cameraman explains that he heard a different story based on what one of the other witnesses said. Things becoming slowly stranger and stranger, eventually Adriana explains that Walter obtained a mysterious tape from somewhere which he intended to broadcast. After watching it, things started getting bizarre, with Walter acting unlike himself. He provides another member of the channel a copy of the tape, which turns out to be burnt while she still holds the original. She explains that she never watched it herself as Walter specifically instructed her to never watch it when she offers it to Juliana as she knows that they won't stop until they watch it themselves. Juliana, excited to watch the tape and record its content, instructs Selva to record it while they play the seemingly cursed tape as it would be very good for their channel and program. Selva, being unsure, not having much authority, agrees to Juliana's demands and continues on recording. The tape displays a found footage type of video with someone going inside a building with liminal space corridors as if being a passageway to another dimension or another world. A strange whispering voice is then heard, reciting what seems to be spells or curses. Seeing someone on the tape, it then suddenly comes to an end with Juliana being glued to it when Selva asks if she's okay, with Juliana being dead silent, not uttering a word, which ends with the screen going to black and both Juliana and Selva being back in the elevator from the very start arriving at the building in order to interview Adriana. Neither of them seem to remember their previous encounter with Adriana and watching the tape seeming as if they are trapped in a loop. 
Some matters have considerably changed. For example, Juliana's name from having only one letter N is now having two, and her appearance has worsened, seemingly as if she has missed sleep for several days, having deep eye bags and messy hair. This time around, not only her appearance is worse and ragged, but her mannerism has become more hostile and unfriendly being very impatient and snappy talking to Selva and even Adriana when she encounters her. Gunpowder is even acting strange, being awake and on guard, watching Juliana intently and carefully, never leaving her gaze. It's fair to say something terrible has happened to Juliana after watching the tape in the last loop, which she doesn't even remember. Selva's memory also seems to be cloudy. So whatever has happened to them, including Walter, seems to be after watching the tape. While interviewing Adriana, Joanna doesn't seem to be remotely interested in knowing more about Walter or being friendly to Adriana. All she wants now is the tape, getting straight to the point that she wants the original. When she obtains it, she orders Selva to go outside and interview Adriana, even though he's just the cameraman, depicting something seriously wrong has happened to Juliana, and all she now wants is to watch the tape. Going to the communal area, speaking to Adriana, she notices how different Selva is to Juliana, not being like a shark trying to get his way. Adriana also notes that they look familiar, as if she has met them before, seemingly talking about the last time, yet her memory is also cloudy. Unlike Juliana, Selva actually asks about how Adriana feels and how Walter got to possess the tape, to which she explains that it was delivered to him by unknown sources, but after watching the tape once, he continued on watching it repeatedly like a twisted ritual. Adriana also adds that she has noticed something is off with Juliana, especially as she wanted to watch the tape alone, making her feel uneasy. Based on how the interview goes, Adriana can become very concerned about Selva and ask him what he really wants, assessing his greed and desires in his task today interviewing her. If she finds him to be open and honest, she instructs him indirectly to throw the camera out of the window and to never broadcast what was recorded, as if trying to save Selva from an unfortunate fate, which leads to him throwing the camera down the window which resets the loop. Alternatively, after concluding the interview, Selva turns around, intending to go back to the apartment with the door left ajar, when all of a sudden the loop resets, with Selva finding himself in the stairwell going up to the apartment. <laughs> While going up the stairs, he struggles to remember what apartment number he needed to go to and what the reporter who accompanied him was called. The options given to him also confuse him, giving the option of Juliana with only one letter N or two Ns. Managing to go up with the entire building seemingly being very eerie now, he starts hearing cries and moans as if someone is suffering and being tormented. An unbearable smell also breaks his focus, not being able to think straight. Moving through the corridor, following the source of the heart-wrenching sound, a door appears on his way. Not remembering the last time, he looks through the grate of the door, seeing the back of a woman looking similar to Juliana, facing the wall, acting as if she's possessed, not reacting to anything. He then turns away, walking towards the source of the smell, coming from where Adriana's apartment is. As walking through the dark corridors with his camera light only lighting up the place, he observes gunpowder being out in the corridor as if avoiding the apartment. Starting to feel creeped out, not knowing what he's doing here, yet feeling extremely drawn to the place as if he's supposed to be here, the camera light suddenly turns off, with a sound being heard which causes gunpowder to run towards it, getting out of sight. As a result, he finds a note where gunpowder was lying on, which reads of someone writing that they had enough and they are living in nightmares surrounded by shapes and forms, with a specific face hunting them. They finish the note by saying whoever finds it should never leave gunpowder alone. This seems to belong to none other than Walter when he was alive, as we know he really cared about gunpowder and it seems as if there's some sort of danger presences which led to him dying, knowing gunpowder could be harmed if not protected. That's when Selva notices how he is drawn to the apartment, as if the camera is pulling him there, being gravitated 
towards it. Being more like a metaphoric way of saying it, it seems to have deeper meaning. That Selva's curiosity and need to climb the ladder in the media world led to him digging deep in matters that he should have avoided and left alone. Finally, daring to go after gunpowder into the apartment, he finds a turned on TV in a room being pitch black and large, with gunpowder lying next to the TV, showing the last broadcast of Walter Martins in which he lost his life. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Possivelmente a minha última. E com ela trago um comunicado a fazer para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, tem me assombrado desde então. Palavras não serão bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenham mostrado. Por isso, peço que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta e observem com atenção. In here, he explains how it is his last broadcast and he has a mysterious tape to show to his audience, when all of a sudden, the recording becomes corrupted and glitches, showing segments of the tape before Walter disappears, with the tape not being in fact shown. His voice gets distorted as well and his image freezes, as if someone or something was taking control of the broadcast, trying to lie to the viewers that it's from Walter, in order to watch this cursed tape so they can become hunted and or possessed as well. On that note, the loop resets and Juliana is back in the elevator with Selva. The events follow very similarly to the first loop, with Juliana seemingly appearing alright, yet looking different and having two ends in her name, as if being a different person now, with the timeline being affected. They enter the apartment and interview Adriana, which leads to them getting the tape and watching it, with everything happening just like before, when the loop resets and they find themselves back in the elevator. Yet again, Juliana's appearance has changed and she is much less patient than before. This time around, Selva sees a quick vision of what is to follow, for Juliana to get possessed and a sight of Walter before things go to normal, yet again going to the apartment to interview Adriana. Yet again Juliana watching the tape and Selva going out to speak to Adriana, the time resets with Selva finding himself in the stairwell, going up to the apartment, being drawn to it. Reaching level number 6, seeing Gunpowder yet again run into the apartment, he considers if he's been here before, deciding he has enough, turning back to leave being extremely scared. But no matter what, Selva cannot leave anymore using either the elevator or the stairs as the time resets with him, finding himself back right in front of the apartment, having no other option than to go in. This time around with Juliana not being anywhere to be seen, as if not being worthy enough to watch the broadcast, Selva goes in watching the same broadcast but the audio changes with a distorted voice taking over. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Oi, você está vendo isso? Acredito que já seja tarde demais. Amantes deles já se tornaram nossos olhos. Tudo que vemos. Eu entendo o afã em buscar mais, entender mais. Mas já sabe o que aconteceu comigo por tentar fazer o mesmo. Por que seguiu esse mesmo caminho? Bom, não importa. Já chegou a verdade do espectador. E ela tem imposto. Mas não precisamos pagar tudo. Não precisamos nos submeter. Ouça. Eles não têm controle disso. Não é ainda. Desliga o vídeo. Vai embora. E não volte. Escapará por entre os dedos deles. A maior das rebeldias. Vai embora. Não volte. The voice talks about how it is too late for whoever is hearing this, and the viewers now have the ability to see the truth through their lenses, seeing with clarity. It seems as if it is Walter who is speaking above the grave, in a way mentioning that the supernatural tape allowed him to see through the veil of reality and see the unseen which drove him into insanity seeing through their lenses, seemingly supernatural entities. He wanted to show the tape to others in his broadcast, but somehow something stopped him and he disappeared. People's memory is cloudy, 
with them not knowing how he died, with Juliana saying that he used the gun, while others say different things. Which means he probably didn't end it, but instead was killed or simply disappeared. Especially as the final broadcast doesn't show him dying at all. It seems as if whoever created this tape, acting as a tool opening a bridge to the different realm, has the ability to cloud others' memories. Hence why the witnesses, people who saw Walter die, don't remember how he died. And whenever the loop resets, the people involved always get their memories white. Finally, putting the code T124 in the elevator through the last intermittent broadcast, it shows how someone whose face is distorted delivers the tape to Walter a while back. He simply introduces himself as the operator and doesn't expand on who he is and what the tape is. It appears as if whoever produced the tape has some sort of higher ability trying to select certain people to join them. The cost of knowing the truth is great, however, as it claims one's life or or freedom. That is what happened to Walter as he says it himself in the final broadcast. It appears as a finding the truth, the subject ascends and can talk from different realms. We saw the realm altering properties of the tape and its abilities, how Juliana changed several times and her mannerism changed as well. This mysterious group of people with the operator passing the tape seem to be possibly alternate versions of this world, from parallel universes or dimensions, passing the key for opening a gateway or bridge to different realms so they can have some sort of communication. The actual meaning of teleforum itself is communication from afar or having conferences to address issues faced by small operators and undertake group initiatives to achieve common interests and share different matters. Therefore, it's highly possible that the operator who delivered the tape to Walter specifically chose him to be the main person to communicate with in this realm, and it was no coincidence that he happened to be a reporter in the media. He also picking up a manual about electronics could indicate that he was trying to understand some sort of a machine better. Maybe a machine allowing teleportation. If you also remember, there was a lightning strike exactly during his supposed death, which made the TV malfunction. So it's very suspicious, as it seems some sort of electronic machinery possibly teleported him somewhere different that drew a lot of electricity, which people thought to be a lightning strike. Also, Adriana tries to plead with Silva to stop recording and leave, as she seems to know something about it all, which she doesn't want to unveil. Also, in the last loop, we see Selva managing to listen to Walter's direct message that he can see the truth now. But for Juliana, who was a self-centered reporter, only wanting to have her name out and not caring about anyone else like Adriana, who just became widowed, she seems to lose her mind facing a wall while Selva becomes chosen as a suitable candidate to see beyond the veil. Another personal theory of mine is that these people could be aliens who wanted to make communications with people. But the best way they could do that was to start small, as otherwise people might have declared war and would be up in arms. This game seems to be more like a prologue to the main game or a sequel, which would explain what is really going on. Either way, this was a confusing game. Let me know what are your theories. As always, it's been your host Star, and I will see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day.